And we're back. Welcome back to uh, another episode of How oh, I Met Your Mother. <laughs> no, no, no. This is Kingdom Come Deliverance. As usual. In this episode, we wait for the construction of the thing yeah. to complete. In the meantime, I guess I will sell some more of my shit. Watch out, people! There's some bandit there! Look out! What are those bastards? What are you planning, Peter? No, no. Bugger. Watch out! There he is! That's what you get, Peter. Crap, expensive. Definitely worth stealing from him. My God. get the weapons out so we can sell them once again and the armor oh the armor Everything's so expensive. Oh my god. They're not gonna afford this. Yeah. It turns out Peach was still there. And uh it just go ruggedy go ruggedy correct. And took one successful step to get him. Which was nice. Carrots and apples picked today to put a smile on your face. Let me in. <clears throat> oh, hey, Ota. You still here? My God. What happened to you? Can you show me how? Certainly. I'm interested in all right, but it'll now. Okay. Now let's, uh. Wait, maybe I should actually repair my shit first. Whatever, there it is. Uh, small blacksmiths. Stinger, sure. Armor's kit. Taylor's kit. Perk. Guess I forgot about that. I uh, don't need that. No. Yeah. Tin opener. Causing bleeding. Or greater damage to armor and equipment. I don't really care about that. Let's make them bleed. Alright, now I'm good.
Okay, I only want these. I'm gonna accept that because it's stolen, apparently. Yes, 2k. Two grand. Twixt. Carrots that'll make you and your family happy. Onions that'll make you cry. Yeah. Don't worry about it. It's been taken care of, guard. Just gotta put this shit away. I wasn't able to sell those, huh? Let's just go back there and wait. Nothing to do but to wait. No, if I do get accosted, I will fight them. This, you know, it's like a pilgrim. Yeah, a pilgrim might want to fight, who knows. Yeah. Oh, I actually see part of it. Oh. Yeah, yeah, handle Peach Are you right? <laughs> well, it's all well and good, man. How's it going? Glad you're enjoying yourself, Rebod. God bless you. Master Fayfar, how's the trebuchet construction going? Much better now that I have Master Kisa to help me. Although, to be quite honest, it's more a case of me helping him. I'm taking note and learning as I go. Next time round, you'll be the Siege Master. I rather hope they won't be here next time. They will. How's work going with Master Keezer? Excellent. His knowledge of machinery and mechanics is absolutely astonishing. He's a very gifted man. So you're confident the trebuchet will do its job? Absolutely. It's plain to see Master Keezer knows exactly what he's doing. How much longer do you think it will take? I wouldn't like to hazard a guess. As I understand it, the base is quick to make. But the other parts are more complicated. And then there's all the balancing and setting the trajectory and range. I see. Well, I hope it's ready soon. So do <laughs> I, Henry. Because I have nothing to do but to wait. I can't just sneak in there, can I? My respects to you. How are things with you? I'm worried. I pray the dibbish gets the better of them cutthroats. I wouldn't want that foreign bastard lording it over us here. No. I don't suppose anyone wants a thieving cutthroat for a lord. Like me. <laughs> lord watch it. Hello.
Just let's just sit in our chair <laughs> and wait. Inventory. What am I supposed to do here? Absolutely not. Hopefully when it's done, they'll just use a cutscene. That's most likely to be what will happen. Yeah. They cutscened it. Good. Look at this thing. And damn. Can they actually see the trebuchet? Now, let's see how strong those walls are. Yeah, might as well. Let it rip. Oh my god. <laughs> hmm. Need to increase the range a bit. The trebuchet has to be calibrated. That's perfectly normal. Yeah, that's normal. I'll have the range in no time. Go and watch the trebuchet ch test. I did, didn't I? What's this? News? Message? Move. Move. Damn it, I have to get to Sir Tibbish. Sir, they're coming. There's no time. Someone bring water. Who's coming? Breathe, man. You'll be all right. Sigismund's, Sigismund's army. Who's coming? I believe. There's an army on the way. And they're carrying the colors of Havel Medic, of Baldek. And they're very close. Reinforcements. Havel Medic is surely not coming to help us. Not that bastard. I have a score to settle with him. They have a lot of enemies, don't they? <laughs> enemies left and right. I got it. Hey, I was sitting there. <laughs> Gentlemen, Toth's reinforcements are about to descend on us. Then we'll That's destroy fine. them. How many men? We don't know exactly, but there are many. And they will probably be here by dawn. So soon? How is it that we knew nothing about this before? The whole land is in chaos. It's a wonder we can find out anything at all. If they attack from the rear... We'd be finished. Just as Toph has been planning. Yep. Sneaky weasel. He's been one step ahead of us the whole time. Not this time, though. What are you thinking? You can sneak into the castle while this you happens. Think the weather will be tomorrow? Uh, well, sir, uh, if my joints don't deceive me, and they rarely do, it'll rain. It'll rain buckets. Here. We'll make a stand here, I and Radzig's men. You will wait until they charge us, and then strike them from the rear. Here and here. If we succeed, we'll have it over and done with before they notice anything in town. It might just work. But we'll have to leave someone in the encampments in case they do come up to Talbot. It'll be me. You men will be all I need. Well, that depends on whether you can hold out. We don't even know how many there are. We will hold out. We can sneak in while this happens. While this happens. I'll give the orders to my men. It's the best chance. Best time. Because they'll think to flank us by by charging out of Tarnburg and attacking us. While we have our backs turned. My part in the battle, sir. I, can't, I wanted can't. to go with the Scallets, man. I need more than that from you. More, sir? If we can't hold out at the quarry, we're finished. You, I, Hanish, and Radzik. And since Hanish is commanding the flank attack, Radzik is captive and I'm wounded, Captain Robard will be leading on the field. Of course. Who better? There's no question Robard's a good commander, but many of the men will be from Scalas. 
We need someone there who knows them and has their respect. Sir? You want me to make, you, make me a captain? I mean you, Henry. But... That is... I want to be in the vanguard. I want to be in the vanguard. Now hear me well, Henry. There are whole cemeteries full of heroes who rushed into danger. And if the first human you meet runs you through, it won't be good for morale. Not to mention that Radzik would have my guts for garters. In the battle, you and a group of Scarlet's men will be concealed in the woods over the road. But sir, I think I should... Quiet. Don't underestimate the task I'm setting. You'll have to keep nervous men on a short reign and not attack too soon. And then conduct the attack on the rear so fiercely and quickly that the foe has no chance to react. If the line should... I'll use my arrows. We need someone with their head firmly on their shoulders to keep control of the men. Hmm. Very well, sir. That's what I like to hear. When you're ready, go and join the Scallops men. They'll be mustering in the woods above the road to attack. All right, all right, all right. I want to assault the castle. You're gonna if give you a speech? You thought you'd be spending the whole siege sitting on your arse and playing dice and swilling ale. You were sadly mistaken. <laughs> you were doing that. Is bearing down on us with his band of goat fuckers. Oh what? And if there's one thing we pride ourselves on in Talmberg, is that we defend the honor of our goats. <laughs> I haven't actually seen a single goat. You want to talk to me about it, Robard? All right, now to business. Get ready in the ravine before the bridge to Rovna. We'll drain their blood. Well, that's real inspiring. Greetings. <laughs> Take care. Just time for me to go. Cold steel, hot blood. A messenger galloped into town, but we report that Istvan's reinforcements are approaching. A battle seems inevitable. Inevitable. I'm still not sure whether I'm really so indispensable. Also, also, Divish just doesn't want to have to tell Sir Redzik that his son was killed. Whatever the reason, Sir Divish urged me to keep back from the front line in battle. The battle's about to begin. I'd rather, I better have something to eat and sleep while I can. A little while I can. God knows when I'll have another opportunity. Well, it's not going to take that long now, is it? I'll probably wait a little bit and then eat. Let's spend some energy. Hype ourselves up. Oh, yeah. I'm good. I'm definitely good. No, still a little bit more. Does it actually matter if I go a little past, past it? Not right. There we go. Now mind that. Let's go. Yeah. They're hiding out in the woods like a bunch of criminals. But I am a forester, so it works well for me. I wonder how many men they brought to the army. Apparently the armies consist of about 50 people. That's an army. That is very pitiful, I should say. Such a pitiful army you've got there. Yeah. Do I get to know them? Like this is Samuel and this is Jackson? Not yet. Well that's quite a bit of people. Easy. Easy. Easy man. That's about thirty people. Just a little longer. 
Yeah, it's a lot of them, but it's fine. Am I just standing here? Try not to hit my allies. Maybe go way off. I hit his shield. <laughs> Get another shield. What am I hitting? I'm the Master Archer. I will defend you guys as long as you defend me. Yeah, we killed about 10 people. The other guy should kill about 10 people as well, right? Look at him go. Five people to hold the line. You don't have a master archer like me. Help them! Can't see what's going on. That guy alive? <laughs> well, we did it, I guess. Encoding overloaded, huh? We did it, although we suffered many casualties. Hey, is that Eric? Boy, you should show a little more respect, Divish. Don't need it when you kneel before Istvan. Oh, <laughs> now the pup shows his teeth. Hmm. Istvan, you say? Not Sir Istvan? Or Lord Toth? Just how intimate are the two of you? Huh? Is he his son? I know him. He's Eric. Toff's captain and right-hand man. Oh. Finally, some good news. Shackle him and guard him closely. It's probably Ishvan's son. Those bastards want to destroy our trebuchet. Yep. Well, let's get back to Bernard. Hopefully he didn't run into any trouble. No reputation gained, but with whom? Horse. Let's go. Can fucker. Yeah. Let's go. These guys should get your horses, man. What are you guys doing? Units on me. Oh my. <laughs> Where's uh Sir Rubard? Yeah, you go sneak out and attack us. Plenty obvious. But even if they destroy the trebuchet, it won't be a problem. We could always just build another one. It takes a while, but you know. They're coming! Men, move to defend! Yeah! 
In the neck. Right in the face. Now if it is actually a piercing arrow. It did. As soon as it hits. That hit him right in the neck. How is he not dead? I'll protect you, robot. Just protect me. They just sent four people to attack. Really? Are we okay? Oh, I get the Grushin. Come on, arrow back. Hey you guys. Guess we're under attack in different areas. Let's find out where. Guess I found them. I should have killed him. That's bullshit. What are you just standing around for? Fucking idiots. Thought you would attack. Guess he's just standing there like a fucking idiot. Now I know where my fucking reticle is. Fucking idiots. hits what yeah. oh, I defended it Cost a few men, but still. Well, yeah, the damage isn't too serious. So we can shoot. Not just yet. Sir, what are we waiting for? You've heard his we can parley. Do you want him to kill Radzik and my wife? We have to consider all our options. And it would be a shame to destroy the castle, too. But how do we get that rat out of there? His son, Sir, Eric. I might have a solution. What about exchanging hostages? He was the captain at Vranjik, and he brought Istvan's reinforcements here. Seems to be on very, um, intimate terms with Toth. He might be able to tell us something. And he might even be as valuable to his lord as Lady Stephanie and my father are to us. <laughs> You're your father's son, by God. You're a godson, <laughs> lad. You're right. We'll interrogate this whore, son, and then decide what to do next. Come to my tent when you've rested. Don't like it that in all the land there's only one person that supplies my better piercing arrows. Put that thing away. Oh, they're just taking shit, huh? 149. I did get it. Got like 170 before. I lost like uh, 21. Do I need a rest? It did say I need a rest, but I didn't. Re don't actually need rest. Come on, man. I'm good. Let's... Start Maybe I can uh, repair my shit. Yeah, repair them before they go bad. K. 
keep everything tip top. I won't betray my lord. Ah, Henry, just the man I want. This fool would rather hang than sing. You know more about him than we do, so maybe you can get something out of him. Well now, Eric. It is Eric, isn't it? Looks like the boot's on the other foot this time, doesn't it? <laughs> boot. Fuck you. Because they won't, they won't shoot. You need to change your tone. If you start being nice, you might just come out of this alive. So now I'll ask you a few questions, and you better think carefully about how you answer them. Who is this Toth? Who is this Toth? He's an orphan, same as me. The Turks killed his parents, so he started killing Turks. Sigismund needed men like that, so Ishtaban ended up in his service. I see. What is he after? Are you really that clueless? To destroy Wenceslas's allies. You. He's very loyal, isn't he? How many men does he have in the castle? How should I know? There were nearly 70 of us at the beginning, but there's probably not even half left. But that's still more than there ever were in that castle. More than enough to defend it. How did you meet him? Yeah, I might as well fail. How did you meet him? What's that got to do with anything? <laughs> Who does he take his orders from? Are you stupid? He works for Sigismund. <laughs> Listen to me. Toth has hostages in the castle, and we have you. So, how about an exchange? Do you take him for a thief? Do you really think he'd give up the only thing he has that stops you from attacking? He'll never accept an exchange. You better pray he will for your own sake, because once we attack, you'll be worthless to us. And what do you suppose will happen to a worthless bandit? I won't waste any more time on you. You could have saved yourself, but apparently you value your master's skin more than your own. I don't need to save myself. Ishtavan will save me. And he'll kill every last one of you. Oh. Why should he save you? He'll sacrifice you, just like everyone in Vranik and Pribislavitz. You're nothing but a common bandit. Yeah. You don't know anything. You're not special. Me, and anyone who lays a finger on me will pay dearly. Think very highly of yourself. I'm curious. Why would he care that much about you? Could it be your lovers? You never understand. For a while there, I thought we'd get nothing out of him. But in the end, he spilled his guts. I thought you were much too easy on him. But it seems your approach was the right one. Well done, lad. <laughs> anyway, it's clear that young fellow is no ordinary brigand. He's an Omega. And he believes Tom cares about him. You'll just have to see if the bastard cares as much about him as Divish does about his wife. And What's that, Peter? <clears throat> well, Divish, I think the time has come to find out just how much Toth values our hostage. Do you want to parley with him yourself? I think I'll leave that to you, Hamish. So be it. He doesn't want to get shot again. <laughs> Bring the hostage below the battlements. Yeah, you got plenty of fat to actually absorb the arrow. Watch him wear full plate armor with the hostage in front. <laughs> oh no, he doesn't wear anything. He never wears anything. Actually, I think he always just wears plate. Oh no. What is it? Did our neighbourly visit catch you unprepared? A little, but we've settled in nicely. And this fellow is enjoying our company so much, we simply can't get rid of him. It seems we are in similar situations. Perhaps it's time to send our respective guests home. Not a chance. Do you take me for a fucking fool? Be warned. If anything happens to Eric, I'll let every man jack here have his way with this bitch, and I'll dice Kobila into goulash meat. Nobly spoken, your grace. 
<laughs> for all I know, you may have done that already. Yeah. Divish, I'm sorry. For I know you could have done that already. <laughs> Greetings, friends. Fear not, Lord Toth is treating us like royalty. <laughs> They're unharmed, as you can see. But don't try any tricks, or they won't be for long, Hanush. It seems your lord doesn't place any great value in you, boy. Go to hell. Oh. <coughs> I'm sorry. It looks like it's not going to be that easy. Well, at yeah. least we know they're alive. I didn't expect much of it anyway. He won't harm them as long as we have this fellow. So that means we can commence the siege? Well, friends, what do you suggest? I'd say we have no choice but to attack. Hmm. Sneak it's attack. Risk, Robard, with Stephanie and Radzig inside. I know how you feel, sir, but Toth is no fool. They are his last safeguard. He will do nothing to harm them until he is sure of victory. Would you be saying that if it were your wife inside? Or your father? Well, let me point out that we have mm -hmm. no choice anyway. We don't have enough supplies to keep men here for weeks. While gangs of brigands and Sigismund's army roam the countryside, hmm. Toth won't agree to an exchange, and even if he did, we'd have to let him go. With all his men, he'd be a thorn in our sides till Judgment Day. Sir, a message has arrived. Oh, what is it? Margrave Yobst is approaching with his retinue and wants to speak with you. Margrave. Yobst, you say? All right. Mm. What is he doing here? Who's Yobst? Yobst of Luxembourg is cousin to King Wenceslaus and Sigismund. He's the Margrave of Moravia. Only a year ago, he was collaborating with Sigismund in the League of Lords. He betrayed King Wenceslas and his ally Prokop. Now, he's changed sides, appointed himself the leader of the rebellion against Sigismund, and wants to liberate Wenceslas. The hell? Whichever way the wind blows. <laughs> Nevertheless, it seems that... He just changed sides so easily. We don't want Yobst camping with us in front of our own castle like a band of gypsies? Hmm. I'm afraid you're right, Hanush. All right. We'll let the men rest a while and then attack. Come to me when everything is ready. Mob and the night raid. Night raid. We do it again. Family values. An oath is an oath. Let's take a look. The men are prepared. The trebuchet built in Estvan refuses to surrender. Talmberg must be conquered by force. We left no option but to start bombarding Talmberg. So Divish will surely tell me more. Alright, let's talk to Sir Divish. Yeah, yeah I'm ready. Nothing else I can do anyway. I'm a little hurt, but uh, hello. Uh, I'm glad you came. I'm at your service. At your service, sir. I'm about to give the order to bombard Talmberg. Okay. And since it's mainly thanks to you that we still have a trebuchet, I think you should have the honor of the first shot. I'd be delighted. I'd be delighted. <laughs> to smash my castle? I can't say I share your enthusiasm. <laughs> Sorry, sir. I didn't mean it like that. Yeah. There's nothing to it. The men will load the trebuchet. All you have to do is pull the lever. Well, I suppose I could manage that. Then we'll bombard Talmberg for several days. Sir Robard will explain what comes next. See you later. <laughs> Great. Now I have to go back.
Load the trebuchet. Who's loading it? Come on, get in line, you sense of bitches. Heave ho! Heave ho! Oh, uh, let's talk while they load. Good help, you. There was precious little in it, and we could have lost everything. That's how it goes in war. But God stood by us. And in the end, they're nothing but a bunch of filthy cutthroats. They're sneak thieves and assassins. But does that make them real soldiers? Well, they're apt to wait till a man nips off into the bushes to relieve himself, lifts up his chainmail tunic, and stab him in the back. Personally, I'd rather face a proper soldier. Because you know just who you're up against. That's probably why Toth is giving us such a hard time. I'd be with you. Yeah, come on, put the rock in. Look out. Well, am I gonna have to put the rock in? Oh, it already has a rock. Well, what am I supposed to do? Just sit here and wait for the signal? Find the trebuchet. Pull the lever. Which one? Left, right. Let's talk to you. God be with you, lad. We came just in time, didn't we? Quite, quite. I thought my last I had come. But Lord Capon came to our defense and fought like a lion. I'd say he's growing into a proper nobleman at last. I think more people oh, are changing their minds about him. They should. I owe him my life. God bless him. See you later. Is he here? I could talk to him about it. You could see me fire the trebuchet. Are you alright? Yeah, 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 whatever. I guess Kipon will be at Rekka's camp. Let's go talk to him. <laughs> Such great friends with Kipon. Yeah. Keep on, keep off. That's what I say. <laughs> Losing more health, just what I need. What do you have? Greetings. What business have you? What do you think of Master Kizer? I've already asked him to stay on here when this is over. His ideas are incredible, even that trebuchet. I can't wait to launch it. Sounds like you're sorry not to be the siege master. Who knows? I may still get a chance. I got the job feel? to launch it. First shot, at least. <sighs> Pissed off. I'd give anything to have seen you get here sooner. If only Ishtvan had stayed inside that fucking castle. I remember the first time it happened to me. Well, that was when you were a young blacksmith when those thugs attacked you. I'm a nobleman trained in combat and siegecraft, and even I... Well, I won't pretend I wasn't terrified. That's how it goes. There's nothing you can do about it. But Master Faithar may not survive the way they hacked him. If I'd been quicker, or if he'd at least started to run, but I... The main what? thing is it will be easier next time. You won't feel the horror quite so much. I hope so. He's alive! <laughs> Or I'll sue me getting sick of your pontifications. Good luck then. What? I'm getting mixed signals here. <laughs> is he alive or is he dead? Did I just talk to a ghost? How are they, Brother Nicodemus? Goodbye. Apparently, nothing. Okay, good. I just see God. I just saw God when he, right I go past here. Wonder where he went. Wandering off now, would they? I saw Hanushi as well. Hey, Godwin. 
Good health to you. Now all things. Oh. God be with you. Never mind. Doesn't matter. Capon. Bernard. Hanush. Where the hell did they go? Oh well. You do know water isn't good for your health, don't you? How did you get that idea? Yeah. Guess they disappeared off to somewhere. Oh, that's Hanush. What the hell? Are you? Where are you going? Get back to camp. The Lord be praised. Good luck there. Yeah. Oh, head popped way too much. Getting sick. Anyway, to the trebuchet. We're about to launch this bitch. Yeah, whatever, horse. Launch that trebuchet. It hit. Yeah. God bless you. How do you like Master Keys, Sidivis? How do I like him? As if it's not enough to hurl giant boulders at my castle, he wants to throw kegs of gunpowder. <laughs> <laughs> but he has to do something. Those boulders could hit my wife. And if they don't get her, the gunpowder could burn her to death along with Sir Radford. Yeah. Yeah, it's bad. I know how you feel. I feel much the same. When we're done, what state will my castle be in? What will I do if the worst happens? What? Ah, enough of that. Better to spend my time in prayer than worry. We made it in the nick of time. We failed. That serpent from Valdic gave us the slip. I should have known he'd have his fingers in it all. If only I could catch him. Would you what? kill him? Maybe. But before that, I'd throw him in the dungeon for a few years. See how much he enjoys it. Still, the best I'll be able to do is lodge a complaint against him when the king returns. And just thinking about it gets my goal. And my arms kill him. Damn it! What the hell are you talking about? I've arranged for a priest to come. He promised to take care of the people around here. Thank you, Henry. Lifting the spirit can help us all. I got hold of a sawbones to take care of our wounded. Thank you. Most of them have already lost their homes. Their lives are all they have left. Take care. Well, hopefully we'll give them a new home. I'll be firing a shot so you end up steal my thunder, you sons of bitches. Good day to you. Watch that thing go. How are things with you? <laughs> it's magic. Weren't you on the nighttime raid too? It's a shame we didn't succeed. It could all have been over by now. I keep saying the same thing to myself. But we can only trust in God's plan. Aye. And pray for salvation. I think it could have succeeded. Alright, you don't have to pretend to work. The ghost already did all that. Divish said, Sir Divish. Okay, Sir Divish. Sir Divish. Um, Sir Divish said, You tell me what happens next. I. We're going to watch Ishvan shivings. That's all. For a few days at least. So if you have anything to attend to, now's the time. Just don't forget to come back. I'll be with you. More waiting, a kitty? Two-day bombardment is finished. I'm gonna go up there and see what they're doing. How's it looking like?
Where is it hitting? Yeah, if you guys could actually aim for this door, that would be nice. Nice sneaking, guys. Really can't see you coming. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, we could wait for two days, or we could just do something for two days. We wait. I'm gonna sleep for now and just wait the entire time. Maybe we could talk to Tobias. It works. I mean, don't care. Oh, okay. Yeah, sleep that much and then we'll wait for two days. Oh my god, oh my god. I'll sit on the chair and wait. I'm so energetic. Man, goddamn. Yeah, I got you every time it hits, huh? We're gonna hit every time because it's centered around that range. Can only wait one day. Bam. That's one day. This perk, contemplative, is the best perk. I could have ever gotten. Period. Nothing else compares. Load it and then I'll do another day. Come on, hurry up. Yeah, more cheering, yeah! Still here. 20 hours. Wait 20 hours sitting in this chair. Feels like what I'm just doing right now. <laughs> Four hours every time? Damn. God damn. Well, he knows where to find me, that son of a bitch. Yeah, what is it? Is something the matter? A few of them have taken to their heels. If they stop in Kutenberg, I'll be glad enough. But I fear they may have other plans. If those were the best of Ishvan's men, they could be lurking in the woods. They'll probably wait to attack us at the worst possible moment. <laughs> My fear, exactly. I won't breathe easy until they have until been taken is hanging from the gate. But in the meantime, I'll be glad to know the woods at my back are clear. Can I count on you? Of course, Solomon. Would you like me to bring back their gear as evidence they're dead? That's not necessary. I trust you, Harold. You don't even have to do the killing. Just let me know where you find them, and that'll be that. There's no need for you to get hurt in the process. No, I'll do it. Since Sir Divish's colors still aren't flying over Talmberg, I suppose we'll be attacking. Just so. That Ishtran's a stubborn bastard. All right. When do we start? There's no reason to wait. Are you really ready? If you need to rest or anything, we can still wait. You won't have another chance until we won the day. Or until you're fine with us. Yeah, I have to deal with something first. first. All right. But don't keep us waiting too long. Goodbye. Goodbye. 
<laughs> I love it. Oh, let's deal with the. Yeah. Actually, ran past you guys. I would ask how, but yeah. I really know the answer. You guys fucking suck. Just take a look at the map. Oh, that's a pretty large area. Found the camp. It must be there. Camp. Camp. Yeah. They really went in all directions, didn't they? that camp? Well, it's to my south, uh, west here. It's, uh, quarter. Normal speed. This is the camp. Wonder if they're in here. That's just a river thingy. Camp is much further ahead. Stand there. That's loud. I'll find you, you cur. You can't hide from me. Needle? I remember that. He had three? I don't remember shooting three at him. It's well hidden. You could barely see him. So I suppose they're dead. I don't see any more. There's just two of them here. Can I hear something? Thank God for cartographer, I wouldn't actually have to look around for these sons of bitches. Are you kidding me? What the fuck is that? Anyway. That's them taken care of, there's B. Should go straight for it. Oh. Captain Ribard told me quite a lot of the enemy fled from the battle at Ford and are probably still hiding out in the woods. Second group of foes seen running up the hills west of Tarnberg, third direction of Wolzitz. 
Oh shit. You don't see anything. Nope. Give back my arrow. Such good arrows. I don't need to kill him, but I can. And so I will. What's my combat level, anyway? My combat level. Bow is 15. That's very good. <laughs> Too bad you can't get any perks with it. It's such a shame. You don't like it if, like, at level 20, you get, like, a reticle? Tiny one. Now if you max out stealth, you get... You get the thing if someone spots you or not. Yeah. Although I guess that will be too easy, right? Yeah. I remember this place. It's where the dude rolled down the hill. Oh, it works in Skyrim, it works in this game. <laughs> now it's close by, I believe. Not at all. It's actually pretty far away. In comparison. What are they talking about? Who are they fighting? Great, I moved. Why are they moving so much? It's damn hard to hit them when they're moving so much. They go. Guess they're gone. Holy crap, it's so loud. Guards. Too bad for the guards, I suppose. Oh, yeah, whatever. Seems like they've gone from this spot at least.
Yeah, I want to go to right high, get some more arrows. Then I head back and get rid of the rest of the stragglers. Yes, please. What do you have for me? Where's this pilgrim? Oh, over there. Hello. Please, sir, help me. With what? What's happened to you? I've walked all the way from Kuttenberg, but as you can see, I'm barefoot. My feet are fade to the bone. Don't you have a strip of clean cloth for me, good sir, so I can swathe my feet and leaves? Ah. Uh. Penitents are supposed to go barefoot. Penitents ought to go barefoot, don't you know? But I'm not a penitent, sir. And you're poor because you're a sinner. <laughs> don't you know that God rewards the just and... I know that, but... No buts. God has punished you for your sins, so you ought to bear your poverty as your just penance. You're a cruel one, lad. Don't let me delay you. I'd best wait for a more generous soul. <laughs> To man. Mop my arrows before it hits dusk. Somebody might even be saying, Oh, wait, there, there's a a place, a place where you can get tons of arrows. For free, in fact. A better piercing arrows. For free. God be with you. He's the only one with the arrows that I know of. Well, it kind of sucks that the other... The other... Beastmaster or whatever. Huntsman. Fled. And I'm the Huntsman. It's like, God damn it. Yeah, I don't think there's any other huntsmen's around. Unless I perchance have missed them. No, that's a tenor. Oh, boy. The Grave Dilmore Huntsman. Just saying. And it's not me. Because I need to buy arrows from. Alright, let's meet up with the. Uh, Lord Teresa. See if she's uh, willing to go on a date. Yeah. It's raining, Teresa. Get inside. I've got some. I hope you won't need. Thank you. Bandages. I've got. Henry. Yep. Wouldn't you like to? In this weather. No, oh, you're right. It's raining. God damn it. The fates are not smiling on me. time we get there will be dusk and thus it will be easier for us to hide right that's what i'm assuming night time approaches psychological damage but continuously chucking rocks at them at night they're not going to be able to sleep but so are the hostages which are I'm not good to the health, but whatever. Can't see anything. Gonna need some light.
Last time I found a fish trap, but I don't care. Where is this? Oh, it's straight there. Yeah. If I head straight towards C, you'll be there. That's my night vision looking terrible. Okay. Oh, I have a night hawk. Might as well use it. It's strangely bright. It's this rain. This rain is covering up everything. I can't see anything. I see the camp. <laughs> this is supposed to happen. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. He got up real quick. This rain, I can't see anything. That's just fucking perfect now, isn't it? Yeah, it'd be nice if I could actually see something. Lost your wind. That is fucking great. Fucking rain. You kidding me? Activating Nighthawk in rain is death. It is absolutely death. I'm here. Can't you see we're still bombarding? You came too soon. Is something the matter? A few of them have taken to their heels. Hey. <laughs> I can have to do this shit again. Now, I didn't know rain was fucking bioluminescent. Piece of shit. Shooting him. I'll just go. Did I hit? What the fuck did I hit?
thickets. Give a shit about. You would think they might run away after seeing that there was an intruder in the camp. I don't know what the hell that was, but I'll take it. campsites. The rest of the woods are clear. That's a relief. Now let's relieve ourselves of this accursed talk. I'd be with you. Ah. Now let's finally get some more arrows and come back unscathed. Right. Let's do this. Yeah, it's gonna be night time when I get there. Yep. I wonder if he's closed his uh, thing with him. His shop. Maybe I could buy something real quick. No? What are you doing here? Waiting, apparently. Not awake, huh? He's still there. You fucking idiot. You're telling me he's been standing there 10 hours waiting for me to move? Of course, it's fucking raining. God save you. Just for errors, you know.
if I get rid of her. This. Can it, uh, can I repair? That's thing. That's cobbler. Okay, no wonder I couldn't fix it. I'll be cobbler, but whatever. I'm glad to see you. Goodbye. Worth it since it's been a while since it's been a. So it just needs the parmesan, parmesan, the cover. I talk to the tailor to repair it. You can have your theme a ding back. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, no, I might sell those. Give those to me, and I'll find a way to sell them. Pretty sure I can sell them to the cobbler, right? He was able to repair them. What do you mean? Oh. How am I trespassing? It's a store, isn't it? This fucking place. Finally repaired. My god. And it took a thousand gold, of which I got back. Yeah, let's go to Teresa. Probably wait here, actually. Fucking rain.
Still pissing. Well, at least the uh, robot wasn't lying. Hundred, hundred, hundred. It's what you like to see. I remember back in the day when I didn't actually know how to increase my health. I thought, well, you just sleep and you get your health back, right? <laughs> you could have just taken Marigold. It would have been fine. I'm pretty sure it just rains in the afternoon, right? It doesn't rain in the morning. Yeah, it's pretty nice weather outside. Oh, hello. I've got something for you. I got them from Uncle Peshek. Uh, the lockpicks. Yeah, lockpicks. She gives just lockpicks, save your snaps and bandages. I'd rather save your snaps all the time, but you know. I've got something that. All right. Animation abound. handsome <laughs> let's go somewhere wouldn't you like to take a stroll somewhere I'd love to I take on my horse get a horse for a reason come on man <laughs> is it gonna be the same animations over and over oh no this is different I think Well, not really. Well, we're seeing a different side, but it's the same animation, pretty much. Yeah. So I believe we're where we've done. We're done with it. Did I just hear it? Home already. <laughs> See you another. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> How's my shit looking like? Oh, I just have two goblets. Two wobwits. Repair it every time. Every time. Don't want them to get shit. Well, I guess let's go over there and wait. About 200 arrows is enough for me. Ambush? Oh, might as well attack. So, Robot is expecting me, apparently. Is it just one man? Gonna aim a bit higher. Where am I? Oh, there it is. I thought they had white fletchings. Yeah, he was obviously drunk. Obviously. And so many drunk people are costing people on the roads. Yeah. 
up there we use the savior snaps then we trigger it we probably don't need to use the savior snaps but i'd like to save your snaps nine yeah whatever i can always buy more if i want to since Sir Divish's colors still aren't flying over Talmberg, I suppose we'll be attacking. Just so. That Istran's a stubborn bastard. All right. When do we start? There's no reason to wait. Are you really ready? If you need to rest or anything, we can still wait. You won't have another chance until we've won the day. Or until your final rest. I'm ready. I'm ready. Glad to hear it. We're going to attack on two fronts. The north gate and the west wall, which will scale with ladders. The attack will be split into different stages. Taking the outer walls, the inner bailey, and finally the core of the castle and the tower. How are we going to attack the gate? We'll try to do as much damage as we can with the trebuchet first. Kieser claims he can even hit it directly. Really? Even if that's true, we'll have to charge through a downpour of enemy arrows all the way to the portcullis. Port Cullis. Fortunately, it's wooden, so we'll be able to break it down. But dealing with the defense in the Bailey won't be easy. And what's the plan for attacking the West Wall? First, we have to get men to the wall with ladders, which is no easy matter under fire. So we'll need as many men covering them as possible. As soon as the ladders are in place, our foot soldiers will run up and try to scale the wall. Once a few of them get to the battlements, we should quickly gain the upper hand. How will we take the battlements? Either by scaling the west wall, or our men at the gate will help. If they can break through, that is. I see. Whoever gets the first. Bailey? That will be tough. Even if we get through the gate and into the outer bailey, we're still a long way from victory. The castle is designed so we'll be like hens in a coop to anyone with a bow on the inner battlements. We'll have to either fight our way through, or somehow get around them. What about the living quarters? There, I'm worried most about the hostages. Once we're inside, Istvan will know defeat is inevitable, but we'll still have to fight for each and every room. I think I've heard everything I need to know. Yeah, just attack, just attack. You want to join the attack on the walls or on the gate? Remember, many of the Scalot's men will follow you. It could make a big difference. I'll help with the attack on the walls. I didn't even get to decide. You've changed from an insolent pup into a tough, reliable fighter. And as God is my witness, we will kick those whore sons' arses. A village lad and an old soldier? <laughs> this man must be shaking in his boots. <laughs> <laughs> if he's not shaking, then he doesn't know what he's got coming. Just one last thing, though. No matter how good the plan is, something always gets fucked up. Keep mm -hmm. your eyes open. And take advantage of every chance. Help your comrades and don't go rushing in where you're outnumbered. We have to take the castle gradually, one position after another. I'll remember that. Good luck to you, stripling. Good luck to you, old soldier. Goodbye. Oh, would you look at this? Hans is still joining in. And I'm wearing armor. The last shot. Well, that didn't hit the gate. Oh, Charge! maybe it did. Why do you look so unsure then? While the gate's open, let's go get them. Apparently, the portcullis is up. Then you have to wind those up. They're naturally down, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, they use gravity. Attack! Storm the walls! Hey Bernard, how you going? 
Maybe you shouldn't yell that much. I hear you coming. Let her up. Whatever the fuck. Are we actually getting shot at? I don't feel like it. Hey guys. Versus uh, arrow archers, you son of a bitch! Bitch! What? Bitch! Getting the door up. Hold them back! Hold them back! Wait, is it broken? Is it down here? It's actually broken. All right, I need it. I need to bandage myself. Just use my gold. I was so close. <laughs> Did you hit my ally? Very tight quarters. Double kill. Did I knock him out or did I kill him? I wonder. There we go. Marigold seems to have worn off. Take up archery position. Wait, what's this? Oh, this is the gate. This actual gate. I feel lag. Whatever, let's go.
Where is she? This room looks different. Are they underneath the castle? In the tower? Oh yeah, I didn't actually fight them, I just went straight for the tower. <laughs> He was supposed to save them, right? <laughs> yeah. Now's not the time! Attack the tower! Tower! Tour! Sir, we should give the order. Let's see if Ishvan Toth can worm his way out of this one. Don't tempt feet, Hamish. Ishvan! It's over! You want us to come and get you? I wouldn't advise that. Your friend Divish wants to see his wife alive again. And Sir Radzik? Are both hostages unharmed? For now, Hanush, unless circumstances change. Well, I'm glad to hear it. My guest is also safe and sound, but he's also quite keen to go home. I imagine you feel the same way. It's been a long time since you warmed yourself at your own hearth. I'm in no <laughs> hurry. I have plenty of supplies here. Grand view and excellent company. What more could I want? Your freedom! Freedom? <laughs> freedom to get an arrow in the back? Sir, you're all noblemen here. All bound by honor. I'm not I quite. I give you my word as a knight and lord. And that of my companions. If you release Lady Stephanie and Sir Radzig, you may leave the castle with your men and go on your way unharmed. That's his only recourse. There is no other way for him. And just how far will we get? What good will it do me if your men attack us in the woods instead of here? If you give me your word of honor that you will leave and never return, I promise you safe passage to the boundary of this fiefdom. What happens after that is up to you and the will of God Almighty. Very well, this will then. get. But I want a small safeguard. I'll give you her ladyship. At the boundary. But Razzig comes with me. Oh. I'll release him in scullets. Out of the question. Is our word not good enough for you? Is mine not good enough for you? I swear I'll release him when I get to a safe distance. I'll go with him, Hanush. Let the Lady Stephanie have her freedom now. Father! Don't worry, son. I trust Lord Toth's self-interest more than his word. He wouldn't be fool enough to harm me. And if you're certain, Radzig, prepare horses and supplies and tell your men to pull back. We'll come down. You heard him. Get to work. And any man who breaks his truce answers to me. All right. So are you really going to let them go? My word is my bond, Henry. He's a cutthroat and a liar. Good men are dead because of him. What's to stop us from skewering him as soon as he sets foot outside? Our honor. If you let him go, he'll do the same again. Or worse, God's justice will find him. Then he'll get a taste of my mace. If he'll probably build another army. Of honor, we have none. And without honor, we are nothing. Never fear. Your father will be all right. We'll hunt down those vermin yet. I just want that sword. <laughs> Bring the horses. Here she is, as I promised. Not a hair on her head harmed. Divish. Better. Stand for me. Divish. Forgive me, husband. I'm sorry. For what? For letting them into the castle. Oh, come now, my dear. You're not to blame. <laughs> I did 
know who he was, but that he was your friend. Never mind. Did he hurt you? No. What about the sword? I hope your word can be trusted. Certainly more than yours. If everything goes as agreed, I'll set Radzik free in Scalitz. If anyone tries to follow us, I'll kill him. We won't. I will, though. My apologies for keeping you from your father, but you'll see each other soon enough. Oh, I almost forgot. Your sword. I expect you'll want it back after all the trouble you went through. Actually, you know what? I think I'll keep it as a memento. This isn't over. I'll find you. I look forward to it. Yeah! That's great. Lost the sword again. Quick, to the battlements. We have to see which way they go. Mount up, Henry. You've heard what he'll do if we follow them. We're not going to follow them. We just have to collect your father. Or do you want him to walk back here when they release him? That is true. And we have to trust his word, so... We have to know for sure that he's releasing him. Although I'm going to chase him down and fuck him over. When he does release. Is, I didn't think much about it. I just felt I had to do it. Are you telling me there's an RP gallop? <laughs> what do you mean? Or oh, whatever. A few weeks? Something like that. Before that, I was chasing wenches around Bratte and you were digging turnips. And now look at us. A pair of veterans. Uh, I was an apprentice blacksmith, not a turnip digger. Yeah. Same difference, you silly bugger. What will you do now? Not long ago, I only made plans three days ahead at most. Maybe I really could do something for Rate and his people. Something really big. Yeah, that's the spirit. Ah, there'll be plenty of time for that later. You can conquer the world. You become king. Wouldn't that be a thing? I could become king. <laughs> what should I say to him? Don't worry. It'll come to you. You'll see. Well, I just hope he'll be there. Alive. Yeah, it's strange that Henry accepted him as father very easily. Yeah, I think he'll keep his word. But I think he'll be back with uh, a larger army. Sigismund's army. There's no sign of them. Move on. kept his word sir not half as glad as i am your grace well we kept our word too and now toth has had his head start and he's fair game which way do they go to the north <laughs> but i would be careful sir hans fair, not, fair game grace. i have twice as many men as he it's an ambush he has many men no, i won't men. keep you any longer i'm sure the two of you have a lot to say to each other let's go yeah i want to join you in the hunt as well treated me quite 
decently. Although they did steal my horse, so I'll have to go back on foot. Pretty much left you for dead. It looks like it's all over. Not by a long shot. It won't be over until we get this mess cleared up. We catch that bastard. How could we let him go? Would you rather we killed him? Even if it meant Lady Stephanie and I died too? No, of course no, not. No, of course not. But what was to stop us from killing him after the exchange? Honor? Honor? What's honor have to do with it? If the honor of a nobleman could not be trusted, then he would never have agreed to the exchange. Where's the honor in abandoning your son? No. Oh. You know how it is. We were young. It happened. And I couldn't marry a commoner. Then your father, I mean Martin, came along and took care of both of you. But he knew it. What? That I was your father? Certainly. He was a great man. Yeah, I wish he was my dad. Took you as his own. <laughs> and I always kept an eye on you. Of that you can be sure. He was my real daddy. You made me my father. But he was my daddy. Look at them. They so shit. Oddly that enough, line is so even shit. You don't have his blood. You're very like him. When he was around your age, he became bored of his trade and set out to see the world. He lived through many adventures, even fought in a war. In a war? Yes, in Poland, I believe. And I don't think he cared much for it. Well, it is a war. That's why he wanted me to stay at home. He spent some time in Prague, then settled in Kuttenberg. But it seems he quarreled with someone there and finally ended up here. You know the rest. Sigismund. <laughs> I loved him, but even so, I... I somehow always had a feeling I didn't quite fit in. Bullshit. <laughs> It was in your blood, I suppose. <laughs> I lost the one thing I had left from him. The sword. The sword. Ah. The sword. It's not my sword. It's yours. Glad we got there established. Now, I'll, how do we get it back? <laughs> For a moment there, it was so near, yet so far. Oh, well, it can't be helped. It was almost within my grasp, but just then I had something else on my mind. Well, I think we may yet have a chance Lady to get Stephanie. it back. This business with Toth is not yet over, unfortunately. That's a chance I'd welcome. Not just to get the sword, but that bastard Istvan too. And then I'll find that German horse son who torch Scalitz, and I'll slay him with it. I'll never forget his face. Or his name. Mark Vart von Aulitz. Those are noble intentions, son. But don't forget there are other things in this world that are worth living for. Like what? Winches. Look around you. <laughs> Blue skies overhead, green grass underfoot, beautiful girls. Mm. Good wine. A few good friends and a fine steed under your backside. Those are things worth living for. I can't deny that swine who killed your mother must pay for what he did. But it's better not to dwell too much on that at the cost of those other things. On the subject of steeds, I think we'll have to ride like the Knights Templar. How's that? What do you mean? Oh. One day I'll tell you how they got their seal. You can take the front. Now we can actually ride two people per horse. Is that it? It's like I always imagined it would be. Teaching my boy to ride. Although it would be better if you were a little smaller. My word, it's all go today, isn't it? Look who this is. I think I know. It's Margrave Jobst. The king's cousin. I wonder what he wants. I guess we'll find out soon enough. No, a bit too close there. Redzy. And the game is done.
Is it actually done though? That did not feel like a very concluding conclusion. I guess the rest of it is in DLC, son of a bitch. Maybe even Kingdom Come 2. Well, uh, that's the game, apparently. <laughs> Didn't expect that, but whatever. See after the credits. Maybe there'll be an end scene. There most likely won't be. Although. Although. Yeah. We'll see. See then.
Son. Father. Come now. You know who sired you. That doesn't matter now. I miss you, Ama. I miss you very much. You'll be fine. We're proud of you. What? I let you down. I lost the sword. I let that bastard get away. Don't be so hard on yourself. There was nothing you could have done to save us. And someone has to live and carry the torch. As for the sword, it's just a thing. You didn't want me fighting. Now look at me. Standing up to evil isn't the same as sowing its seeds. We did what was right. I have to leave you now. Oh, please. You know I can't stay. Will I ever see you again? God knows. Make her proud. were you dreaming about? I couldn't wake you, and it's well past dawn. Sir Radzik wants you at the upper castle. The lords are in council with Yobst. Right. I'll go straight away. What is it? It's just... I don't know how to address you anymore. All of a sudden, you're Sir Radzig's son, hobnobbing with lords and ladies. And here's me, as common as muck. Oh, give over, you idiot. Do I look like a lord to you? Not really. You're as much a lord as I am a nun. And I've never looked good in a habit. Get out of here. Or I'll have you clapped in the stocks. Nice Simba moment. What? Did I just see my father again? Is that a ghost? Epilogue. Well, let's see what's in the epilogue. Then the main castle. Get the hell out of my way. It's not my horse. You got a new horse? Oh my.
I'm dirty already. Oh, Hal. Are you going to the meeting with Margrave Jobst as well? I am. What about Istvan? I assume that we didn't catch him? No. Because if we had, you'd be the first one to know. Have no fear. We'll get him eventually. I hope you're right. Anyway, let's go and see what Jobst wants from us. My lords, Christ's blessings on you all. And on you, Lord Gaben. And this is my son, Henry. I didn't know you had a son, Sir Redzig. It came as a bit of a surprise to young Henry, too. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this gentleman here is John II of Liechtenstein, a member of my council. I'm honored, gentlemen. You're ugly. Come join <laughs> us. Our grave Jobs was just about to tell us the reason for his visit. Your Grace. I'm sure we're all agreed, Your Graces, that all this unrest must come to an end. This kingdom needs a king. And it shall be me. It is which king? My cousin, Wenceslas the Fourth, who is being held in captivity. Yep. I have to confess, my lord, that your answer surprises me a little. If I'm correctly informed, until recently you sided with your other cousin Sigismund. That I cannot yeah. deny, and I have always stated my position plainly. But times have changed. How they changed, Your Grace. Sir, there is one thing on which we undoubtedly concur. That King Wenceslas, unfortunately, did not inherit his father's gift for governing. Sadly, his failures have cost Bohemia, the nobles, and our whole Luxembourg family a great deal of money and effort. How did the king let it go so far, damn it? It's in his temperament. He cares only for wine, women, and the hunt. A king, in fact, who never wanted to be king. Then why didn't he just let his brother have the crown? Yeah. Young sir, the crown weighs heavy when there are duties to be performed. But to surrender it means giving up great privileges, too. The women, the hunt. He did surrender power to his brother. He did? When things started getting out of hand, Wenceslas appealed to Sigismund for help in restoring order. What you're saying, Wenceslas has invited him here? This is starting to make my head spin. Actually, it makes sense when you think about it. Sigismund wanted to re-establish the power of the whole House of Luxembourg. He thought if he helped Wenceslas win the Imperial Crown, in return his brother would help him become the King of the Romans and leave the actual reign of Bohemia and the Empire to him. Sigismund would govern while Wenceslas could carry on doing what he was best at, enjoying the life of the Imperial Court. Why wasn't Wenceslas crowned Holy Roman Emperor long ago? He was already elected King of the Romans. All he had to do was go and let the Pope put the damn Imperial crown on his head. Who knows? Maybe he'd prefer hunting and consorting with bathhouse wenches to spending time with the Pope. Well, so would I, I must admit. <laughs> Sigismund's plan seemed sound enough, but it didn't quite work out, did it? it no, it didn't. For a while, he and his brother reached an agreement. Sigismund took over administration of the kingdom and began planning Wenceslas's journey to Rome for the imperial coronation. But then Wenceslas realized he would just be a puppet with a crown. I must say, Margrave Jobs. Yeah, he knows. That's the whole like point. Naughty children in need of a good clout about the ears. Sigismund would agree. He was already planning his rule of Bohemia, and all of a sudden, the rug was pulled from under him. I'd say he lost his patience and decided he'd drag Wenceslas to the coronation, kicking and screaming if he had to. Just like a naughty child, as you say. So he abducted him and your brother Prokop too, if I heard correctly. Correct. Heard? And you helped him do it, if I heard correctly. Now it's heard. <laughs> yes, your graces, it's true. I was there when Sigismund abducted Prokop. I thought everything could somehow be settled that we could make my brother see sense. But Sigismund, 
just wanted to put an end to the dispute once and for all, whatever the cost. There was nothing I could do to stop him. And that's one of the reasons why I'm here. Ah. The worst of it is that it was all for nothing. Instead of putting a stop to the revolt, it escalated it, and the result is this chaos we have today. That's true enough, sir. But I must admit now, I'm not sure what your position is. The king is incompetent, but we must protect him. The simple truth, mm -hmm. gentlemen, is that for all of Wenceslas's faults, we have no one else. So we'll have to make do with his idleness. People like him, though. <laughs> but what can we do now? Sigismund has the League of Lords behind him. Otto von Bergolf, Heinrich von Rosenberg. The situation has gotten completely out of control. Now even the nobles of the League of Lords are realizing that Sigismund wasn't the right choice. So now Bergolf is on your side. Are we to assemble an army together with him and face Sigismund on the field of battle? We're not in Hungary now. Such affairs may be settled elegantly. Without unnecessary hostilities or expenses. I have negotiated an alliance with the Hungarian bishops, the Polish, and of course the Czech nobility against Sigismund. Every day he is losing the ground under his feet, and that's why I need your help too. To do what exactly? What kind of help though? Money, Sigismund has a massive army, and Rosenberg, Burghoff, and Prague are behind him. Do you have an army you could face him with? But that's not what I mean at all. There's been a revolt against Sigismund in Hungary, <laughs> partly due to my efforts. And now he'll have to choose whether he wants to gain the Bohemian crown, which is a very risky enterprise, or hold on to the Hungarian one. He can't have both. And there's a really? tough struggle awaiting him in Hungary. I'm not sure he'll win. And Rosenberg and Berghoff know it too. They're not stupid. If the Bohemian nobility stands together, they will turn. We are men of little consequence, Margrave. Radzig here lost everything because of his alliance with Wenceslas. So Divish came within a hair of the same fate. Even Ratte is defenseless against Sigismund and the League of Lords. What's more, Your Grace, King Wenceslas languishes in captivity in Vienna. He can't rule too well from there. And what do you propose? To sit with your arms folded till the Bohemian lands are turned to ashes like scallops? We have to put a stop to this senseless war! And do you know, sir, what the true position of the League of Lords is? I'm not on the best of terms with them at this moment, so you'll have to ask them yourselves. Yes. Why not? I'll go and visit Burgov at his castle and we'll see what he tells me. <laughs> you know, that's not such a bad idea, young sir. True. Though a little risky. I doubt Burgov would harm a blue blooded envoy. And you can find out what he has to say about developments and what the League of Lords is planning. Then we'll decide what to do next. I'll help you compose a letter to him. I'd like Henry to come with me. Why not? <laughs> He's proven himself an able investigator, and he'll also be a good bodyguard if anything should happen. And I'll send Sir John here to Gutenberg to be my eyes and ears there. I believe both your reports will help us get a better grip on the situation. When can you set out? Just as soon as I've packed my things. Excellent. Our brave Jobs and I will draft the letter. Get ready, and we'll meet back here. I expect it would be best to write it in your name as Lord of Lipa. Quite so, my Talk brave. to your father. What exactly am I to write? Hmm. Oh, what isn't really the issue? The question is how? We need to learn where they stand on liberating the king and ousting Sigismund. If they'll make trouble or join our side, but... But we have to ask in a way that won't leave Sir Capon being run out of the castle with a whip. Exactly. How about writing that you're concerned about current events and that you want to see things settled peaceably? And then ask the opinion of the League of Lords. Very well said, sir. And what they want to do about freeing King Wenceslas? 
Whether they think liberating King Wenceslas IV might contribute to resolving the dispute? And what they plan to do about the god-awful mess in this country. What steps they envisage taking to end the pillaging of Bohemia by foreign armies? I couldn't have put it better myself. Well, yep. I'd also venture to suggest one more. What is their stance on my... That is, the initiatives of Margrave Jobst of Moravia and a large part of the Bohemian nobility. Whether they plan to take action against them or support their efforts. You read my thoughts, sir. I have no idea what the hell they're talking about. So, it looks like you're off on a mission. Yes, apparently. I can't wait. I don't want to dampen your spirits, my boy, but watch out. These are evil times, and who knows what can happen along the way. Not to mention that Berghoff is no saint. Don't worry. I know. You've shown you can fend for yourself, but do take care. You'll be traveling as Lord Capon's bodyguard. You'll be there to make sure nothing untoward happens to him. Keep your eyes sealed and your ears wide open. What Berghoff tells you is one thing, but what you see may be quite another. Rest assured, Father. And don't get embroiled in anything else. Just hand over the letter, hear out his reply, and return. Yes. Very well. Bergov is at Trotsky Castle. I think you'll find it quite an eye-opener. It's one of the finest castles in the land. It's three days' ride from here, so unless you hit a snag along the way, you'll be back soon enough. Any questions? Not really. Oh my god. I'm getting a bit lost in the Luxembourg lineage. It all seems a bit too tangled. The Luxembourgs have ruled the Empire and Bohemia for almost a hundred years now. Emperor Charles brought this land to prominence. When he was in power, things have never been so good. Wenceslas and Sigismund are his sons, but by different mothers. Jobst and Prokop are their cousins. They were entrusted with governing Moravia. But instead, they've been in a bitter armed feud for years. And now Sigismund's fallen out with Wenceslas. Wenceslas also had another brother, the youngest. John of Gerlitz, who was most probably poisoned. They seem like a hot-blooded lot. It's hard to keep up with their affairs, since they tend to change their alliances from one day to the next. I see. Who is he really, this Jobst? The cousin of King Wenceslas. He's the Margrave of Moravia. I admit I don't know what to make of him myself. Until recently, he was allied with the League of Lords. For a time, he even served Rupert of the Palatinate against the king. And now suddenly, he's reversed his position. I don't know what led him to do it, and one can't help being suspicious. It's best to keep a watchful eye on him. But he really is the leader of the resistance against Sigismund these days. We'll just have to see how it all turns out. Yeah, I heard. I'm a bit concerned so many people seem to think so little of King Wenceslas. You knew him, didn't you? What's he really like? <sighs> well... There's no straightforward answer to that question. He certainly makes a great hunting and drinking companion, but he can be very fiery and impetuous when things don't go how he'd like them. He never had much of a head for high office. He finds it tiresome. But once a man has grasped the scepter, it's hard to let it go again. You can't just abscond. You've seen for yourself what happens when he disappears for a few months. Better a bad but legitimate king than a bloody war over the throne. Who is this Prokop that Jobst spoke of? Jobst's brother, the king's cousin. He and Jobst warred over Moravian supremacy for years. Then they were allies for a while, betrayed Wenceslas, and sided with Rupert of the Palatinate. But after Sigismund abducted Wenceslas, Prokop fomented a revolt against him, and Sigismund had him captured. Politics. <laughs> make of it what you will. I, for one, can't make head or tail of it most of the time. So, alliances are... Pointless. Okay, got it. The League of Lords and that Burgoff we're off to see. Who are they exactly? The Lords of the powerful houses. Heinrich of Rosenberg, Otto of Burgoff, Heinrich of Raditz, and others. They're unhappy with the way their influence declined after Wenceslas surrounded himself with the lesser orders of nobility. They abducted the king years ago and made him bow to their will. They got away with it that time, and now they've joined forces with Sigismund and done it again. But now it seems that Sigismund's behavior is starting to rub them up the wrong way. So they may well be thinking twice. We'll see what Berghoff has to say. I don't know all that much about Sigismund. 
He's the king's younger brother and king of Hungary in his own right. Seven years ago, he led a crusade against the Turks and was defeated at Nicopolis. Some say it was due to the recklessness of the French knights, most of whom were mercilessly slaughtered. Sigismund no. is ambitious and capable. He might well make a better ruler than Wenceslas, but he's arrogant and to our misfortune, brutal. Not long ago, he himself was held captive by the Hungarian nobility. They dislike him as much as some of the Czech and German noblemen do his brother Wenceslas. Ironically, Wenceslas joined forces with Jobst to liberate him. And now this is how Sigismund repays his brother. There's no doubt about it. God does move in mysterious <laughs> ways. Irony. Rupert of the Palatinate. That's a name I hadn't heard before today. Rupert is the Prince Elector of the Palatinate. What's a Prince Elector? The Prince Electors are dignitaries of the Holy Roman Empire who have the right to elect the King of the Romans, who would then be crowned Holy Roman Emperor by the Pope. Rupert took the title for himself with the help of three other Prince Electors, even though Wenceslas had already been appointed. Some of the nobility in the Empire recognized Rupert's claim. But when he went to Rome to be crowned emperor, it turned into a fiasco. Now he's doing his utmost to get Wenceslas to acknowledge him, but so far without success. So now we have two kings of the Romans. Jops sided with Sigismund for a while, but now he switched allegiance. He seems to do that quite a lot. That young man, Sir John of Liechtenstein, why is he here? The Liechtensteins are a powerful Austrian family with estates in Austria and Moravia. Sir John sits on Jobst's council. Since the king's being held captive in Vienna, I suppose it makes sense to have a powerful Austrian house as allies. It could be very useful. My God, there's so much lore. I can't be bothered with That's it. That's about all. Very well. Take the letter from Sir Hanush. He's just like history and class. Good luck, son. It'd be great if I actually cared about any of that. What are you doing here? I'm honored that you should come to me. Get the fuck out of my face. Take the letter. Alright. I believe we have written it well, gentlemen. Without a doubt. No one could deduce from this whether we are Sigismund's allies or foes. <laughs> I must travel back to Brno now, but soon I will go to Brandenburg and I will stop here on the way back. By then, Sir Capon should be back and we can discuss how to proceed. Right. Before you leave, my lord, there is one thing that gives me no rest. Why did Sigismund come as a foe? It makes no sense. If I may, sir. I think I can explain. Oh, please enlighten us, young sir. I live not far from Hungary, where Sigismund reigns. It is a savage country, and the constant war with the Turks has hardened the people. They need a monarch with an iron hand. So when Sigismund felt the wind of revolt, he reacted as he would at home. Only what works on the Hungarian nobles does not work here in Bohemia. Bringing order is one thing, but... Slaughtering and pillaging with a horde of barbarians, quite another. Uh, what purpose does that serve? But Sigismund did give the Bohemian nobles a chance to take his side. It was only when they refused his ultimatum that he lost patience and took to the sword. As for the barbarians, he lost patience pretty quick. afford nothing better. The Hungarian nobility would gain nothing from joining his campaign in Bohemia. He didn't have enough coin for a regular army, and so he recruited the Cumans. What he does not pay them, they make up for in plunder. But in the end, he didn't have enough to even satisfy the Cumans. That's why he raided Gutenberg and Scarlets. He wanted the silver. That makes sense. My lords, how's the letter coming along? It's done. Then we can be on our way. Now remember what we said, boy. All you have to do is deliver the letter, listen to the answer, and come back here. Don't provoke Burkhoff in any way. Provoke? Me? Never, Uncle. <laughs> we'll be back in a few days. Farewell, Your Graces. Come, Henry, my men are waiting. I wish you Godspeed.
Maybe I should have talked to uh, Bernard and whoever. Congratulations, you've completed the main storyline. If you'd like, you're still in both side quests and activities or just wander the world. You can end the game anytime afterwards by running off the map beside a hike. Just keep on squad. Come now, Hal. My manor must be in the courtyard. We can get going. Well, there's nothing else to do. Come on, man. There's nothing else. Look out! I completed the game. This does not feel like a very. This is not a satisfying conclusion, man. What are you doing? What the? Huh? Oh. Can't fucker. All right, let's go. What you want me to talk to you first? Well, let's do this. So, can we set off now, Henry? Yeah, I can hardly wait. Of course. I can't wait. So, to horse! The Lord of Burgov is bound to be waiting as eagerly. It's almost as fast as possible mine. Nah, canter speed. You wanna talk while we go? I'm getting used to it. What about Rodzik? Has he accounted for not owning up to you the whole time? He explained it. All will be well, I think. Glad to hear it. It's far more acceptable for a nobleman to befriend a noble bastard than a blacksmith's son. Mind you, don't come to blows with a blacksmith, my young lord. <laughs> what do you think about Sir Yobbs and his plan? Well, I admit all the scheming has me a little lost. I thought Sigismund was the devil, Wenceslas a martyr, those on his side the heroes, and those against him the villain. I believe we'd rescue the king and all would be well again. But now it looks a lot more complicated. It's always more complicated. Yeah, exactly. I didn't expect the noble lords to be as noble as the angels, but I hadn't expected such a sewer. They behave like children. I can't fathom how after all this backstabbing they're somehow still on speaking terms. I don't know either. It beggars belief. Did you know that King Wenceslas is such a... such a... Feckless drunkard. Not really. And to be honest, I'm not sure I wanted to know. I, really knew I slept that. better believing my fate was watched over by a wise and powerful monarch. So did I. What a dismal world when you can't keep yeah, trust in your own king. On the other hand, times were better with him here than with him gone. Isn't that the truth? Yeah, he's pretty much like you. What do you think of Sigismund? <laughs> if I were him... I'd have had enough of my brother even sooner. But he's a monster. Look at what those hordes of his are getting up to here. What he did in Skalitz. True enough. On the other hand, if Wenceslas and Prokop hadn't double-crossed him, none of this would have happened. No one yep. forced him to burn Skalitz. That's a fact. But he couldn't let them shit all over him either. Not that I'm defending him. He's a weasel. No doubt about that. He's a weasel and a bully. Okay, then you're shaking her. Do you know anything about Prokop? <laughs> <laughs> so Hannah could tell you a thing or two about him. Why? Last Wait, where's a certain Sir Jan Sokol of Lamberg, a well-known knight, or robber baron to some, tried to occupy the city of Iglam, which was on the orders of none other than Prokop. And what has that got to do with Hannah? Well, he was there with him. Of course, that's not something to brag about in front of yachts. And what was it all about? They wanted to occupy a city that was on the side of the League of Law. But despite there being several hundred strong, they didn't take it. For one thing, they couldn't get past the Eglau women. 
with their pitchforks and cauldrons of hot water. Well, I would never have thought of Sahana as just such a rebel. And your horse is pretty fast. I like it. Well, we lost our escort. Um, and have you heard anything about Rupert of the Palatinate? A little. He can't manage even to wrest power from a king who doesn't much care for ruling and isn't fighting back. That doesn't seem like a man who has what it takes to rule. And that's all I need to know. Yeah, well, it's been a great run. Burgoff we're going to see. Do you know anything about him? I haven't heard much good about him, but I have a feeling that some other nobles are quite in awe of him. And his castle is apparently quite impressive. I'll be interested to see for myself. Me too. Which will be in the next game. <laughs> Adele beat the DLC. Wealthy, pompous. The king doesn't seem to like them much. He's chosen to let the lesser ranks of the nobility into his circle. Men like your father. I admit, I don't blame him one bit. But the lords weren't happy about their lost influence, so they put their foot down. If I were Wenceslas, I'd have let them hang after they abducted me the first time. But he gave them seats at the provincial council? Little wonder they're back in their old tricks. Oh boy. Well, maybe he he just uh just wants some friends, I guess. It's not they were trustworthy, I guess. No. Where are we going? Oh, straight there, huh? Not talking anymore, Hans. And the horses are still there. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Been a good run. I mean, it has its ups and downs. You know. Yeah. Turning on night vision, you can't see shit because of the rain. Yeah. You try to attack someone, then they're invulnerable. Yes. Stuff like that happens, you know. Hey, dude, give up. That's all well and good. The game is alright for what it is. But yeah, it's not a satisfying conclusion. Do you like uh, openness of it? Like, there's multiple ways to approach your mission. But I, th I think. The last mission, I, uh, I think it's scripted, so, so um, you can't get him. I think. Might have to look that up. But yeah, it's a good game, and I can't wait for the sequel. I'll probably be playing the DLCs as well. Probably. Anyway, taking the high road now? Or you drive on the left? Guess you drive on the left, huh? There's a camp there. Should we make camp? I mean, we've only been out for a few hours. You know, talking is kind of unnerving. What's this? This random camp here? What? One last meal, I suppose. Yeah, whatever. Seems to have quite the shakes there. Well, let's talk, I suppose. How about it, Henry? Can we go? Are you ready for this? No, oh, is this J 
just in case you wanna you wanna do something else. You'll just be here waiting. Of course. At last I'll get to see more of the country and have a bit of an outing. Quite. The end. Well, they caught up finally. Let's get to it then. I finally have the feeling we're doing something worthwhile. We're helping to save the king. Instead of saving his drunken majesty, I'd rather find that horse than who murdered my parents. Get the sword back from him and skewer him with. Cheer up, Henry. I have a feeling you'll get your chance one day, and it won't be long in coming. Forward, men! Ausentes Fortuna, you must! The end. <laughs> uh. It is finally the end. Can't lie, but feel a bit bittersweet. Well, press E to continue. Am I dead? Continue. What's this? I see. We're back here. Well. Cannot end the episode here. Oh, you know what? Get to your stick cutting. We'll end it there. Holy shit. St. George's sword. Best weapons in the game are kept here, huh? This is the best weapon I've seen. St. George's sword. Although a stinger is actually pretty good. My god, it's 79. Yeah, nothing else is better. A stinger is the best. I guess you're over here cutting. Well, I don't think there will be another episode of this unless I get the DLCs. So, that might have to wait a little, a little bit. <laughs> and I get them on sale. I'll see you in the next episode, which will be a very long time away. Maybe I'll play some other game next, you know, like, um, there is a game that caught my attention, like, Witcher 3? <laughs> nah, I'll probably play Rise of the Tomb Raider instead, because that game has been waiting for me for quite a while. Maybe. Maybe there was some other game that's waiting for me. Anyway, I'll see you in another game. It, it probably won't be this, so yeah. See you then. Peace.